The idea is that they react to the community and in a sense, you know, we've won in a swimming pool and we'll see what happens. If they get wrecked, they get wrecked and so be it. Others are actually indoors and they might be there in 20 or 30 years time. We don't take them away, we leave them here, they're a gift, unless they're in sort of bad nick. We'll just keep making sure they're tuned up. Back home in England, I, you find that you're waiting for a bus and you see the same people there every day waiting for the bus, but no one talks to one another. And it's the same with the train station or even the laundrette where I go and do my washing on a Sunday. So we're putting pianos in these locations to try and act as a catalyst to get people talking to one another. Each uh, piano has a plastic cover that goes over the top of it. And we've got a buddy or a friend that kind of covers it over when it rains. But I, I went down to the park just to see, you know, if this piano was covered. And there was a homeless man sheltering out of the rain underneath the plastic cover. And he was playing the piano underneath this plastic cover. I thought that was pretty cool. Queen Victoria building. I played there today too and now I'm here <laughs> in front of the Sydney Opera House playing piano. Yeah, I love it. I think it's just like music is everywhere on the street, every corner. I think it's good, it's a very good idea and I like the desire of the piano. I love it because um, anyone can come and play and it brings the whole community together. You know, you can decorate the piano, you can play it, like whatever you want.